Welcome to Change Grow, where we help you navigate the world of wealth and status. Human beings have a natural tendency to seek social status and recognition. One way people try to achieve this recognition is by appearing affluent. While financial wealth is a crucial factor in this pursuit, other non-monetary behaviors also play a vital role in creating an image of affluence. These behaviors can range from wearing expensive clothes to using certain social cues and body language. In this context, it is essential to understand the different behaviors that people adopt to create an impression of wealth and status. By recognizing these behaviors, one can gain insights into the psychology of social status and learn how to present themselves in a way that creates a favorable impression in social circles. We're going to delve into things that scream, I'm pretending to be upper class. So put away your Gucci belt and pay attention, because if you care too much about what others think of your wealth, then you're probably not that wealthy. Let's start with number one, public displays of wealth. Showing off your wealth is typically a good sign that you're not actually wealthy. Rich people don't need the status boost because they already know their worth. You'll never catch them with tags still attached to their clothes, and they don't need to show off their big wads of cash. In fact, among the truly rich, if you can carry it and count it, you don't have that much. So pay attention to those who make it a priority for you to see how much they are spending, because it's an easy to spot sign that someone is playing pretend and will likely go broke soon. It is all about the bag. It's not just about how much money you have in your bank account. There are two things worth discussing here. First, did you buy the bag yourself, or did you get it as a gift from someone else? And secondly, why go into debt to buy an item just for social status? People often spend real money on fake products in the hopes of looking wealthy, but it never works. As long as you carry around a fake bag, your status will never be real, no matter how much you try to front. It is all about brand names. True wealth is understated, so the only reason a brand name is visible is for others to know what brand you're wearing. Luxury companies use people who try to seem rich as walking billboards, but it's not about the display of wealth. What about the quality of the product? And before you mention celebrities, know that most of them not only get the products for free, but actually get paid handsomely to walk around in public wearing visible brands. That's why truly wealthy people often dress in a way that's pouring from the average person's point of view. It is all about luxury, but not just material possessions. Skin health is a general indicator of how well someone is doing, and the skin is the window to it all. Good nutrition, Proper hydration and exposure to sunlight are all telltale signs that someone is taking care of themselves. The only light that pretenders usually get is neon, alcohol consumption, oil fumes, and smoking, all of which contribute to a decaying appearance. Actual wealthy people not only care for their own well-being, but they can afford to fix the small things bothering them. They get their teeth fixed, their hairy moles removed, their nails trimmed, and so on. Lower class individuals often live with illnesses because they either can't afford to fix them or don't prioritize their health. It is all about architecture and design. You know you're about to walk into a pretender's home when the gate looks like a Versace column. Very few things are more Eastern European than these gates, 
and they are often found in homes that are so massive they can't afford to heat or repeat the entire place. Pretenders often add architectural elements that don't work well together, and some things are covered in a goldish paint that looks cheap. Even if it was real gold, it would still feel inappropriate. They're the ones who usually have bright green or orange walls and cheap, mass-produced furniture that imitates royal interiors. That's what happens when you try to emulate the outcome without. One of the most foolish things that humans can do is to take out loans in order to go on vacation. It's bad enough to be dependent on your parents for financial support, but borrowing money to buy a new TV or show off to impress someone can be catastrophic. It's no secret that people will do irrational things just to get laid, but when it leads to financial bankruptcy, it's truly one of the worst outcomes. What happens when your significant other is obsessed with money and you don't have any left? You'll find yourself working night shifts just to cover your rent. It's like the famous quote attributed to Mussolini that keeps circulating on social media, better to live one day as a lion than a lifetime as a sheep. However, this notion is absolute nonsense, particularly if you want to live a successful life. These people apparently don't know that most lions die young, torn to shreds by more powerful predators. It's important to be honest about the value of your possessions. Don't call your three-bedroom house a mansion or pretend that you paid full price for it when you got it at a discount store. Stop pretending that your ring is actual gold when in reality, it's just gold-plated and you bought it off of AliExpress. People can't tell from a distance that your chain isn't real gold either. This continuous need to overinflate and lie about your wealth is evident to those who know the true value of things. While wealth can be a source of power and prestige, many individuals may feel the need to put on a facade of wealth to appear more successful or important than they actually are. These actions can range from subtle mannerisms to extravagant displays, but they all share a common goal, to convey a sense of financial success that may not be rooted in reality. One common way that people put on a facade of wealth is by conspicuously displaying luxury goods. This can range from a flashy car or designer clothing to an expensive watch or piece of jewelry. While some individuals may be able to afford these items, others may stretch their finances to purchase them or even resort to knockoff or fake versions of these goods. By prominently displaying these items, individuals hope to convey the appearance of wealth and status to others. Another way that people put on a facade of wealth is through their language and mannerisms. Some may use overly formal language or complex vocabulary to appear more educated or sophisticated. Others may adopt a particular accent or style of speaking to align themselves with a particular social group or geographic region. Similarly, some may adopt specific mannerisms, such as raising their pinky while drinking tea or coffee, to signal their supposed refinement and elegance. However, not all actions that convey a facade of wealth are intentional or obvious. Some individuals may engage in subtle behaviors, such as hiding their financial struggles or pretending to be knowledgeable about a topic they know little about. Others may jump on trends or fads to appear fashionable and hip regardless of whether they truly enjoy or appreciate them. Putting on a facade of wealth can be a way for individuals to feel more important or successful, but it can also lead to financial strain and social isolation if they are not able to maintain the illusion. By recognizing these actions and behaviors, 
we can better understand the motivations behind them and work towards a more honest and authentic expression of success and achievement. It's common for high-class pretenders to name-drop celebrities and people they've encountered in casual situations, such as the gym or barber shop, even though they are not making the kind of money these celebrities are making. They might overpay for these services in the hope that some of their status will rub off on them. However, these people don't even know who they are, and they have no idea you exist. Some people drive expensive cars but still fully refill the tank at the gas station, putting in $10 worth of gas into a $50,000 car. They would rather go to the gas station four times a week, burning through gas and attention, just to keep some cash on hand. You can tell based on the junk they keep carrying around with them in that expensive, but always dirty car. Some people might wait for the rain instead of going to a car wash. Some individuals never finish anything they start, and they are not interested in going deep into a particular subject or topic. They might know famous quotes from books, but they've never actually read the book itself. They're always surfing the internet, scrolling mindlessly through TikTok or stalking celebrities on Instagram. They might call themselves entrepreneurs, but they have no actual business, and their LinkedIn profile is empty since graduating high school. They might talk about the big opportunity that's coming soon, but they never seem to follow through with anything. Even if you handed them the tools for change, they would still fail to take action. When the pie is divided into too many slices, everyone gets only a small piece. This scenario is common in real life, such as when a group of people pool their money together just to get one bottle service at a club. It's like the circus, where one beholder enjoys the show, while everyone else stands back and watches. This type of behavior is often seen in Sweden, where people try to cram into a single car like clowns, rather than getting a taxi or an Uber. People who pretend to be upper class often fail to realize that their behavior is noticeable to others. This kind of behavior is evident in everything you do, and it stands out to those who actually know what it. Having the latest iPhone or a fancy car can give the impression of being high class, but it's important to take care of these possessions. True high-class individuals invest in repairing their items instead of going for cheaper options or letting them deteriorate. This is why you might see older individuals riding around in the same car they purchased when they were younger, as they value their possessions and maintain them well. If repairs are not an option, they'll replace the item swiftly. This mindset shows a true appreciation for quality over quantity. Some people pretend to be upper class by changing the way they talk and acting like they are always correct, even when they know they are not. However, true high class individuals understand that admitting they don't know something is not a sign of weakness, but rather an opportunity for growth. Those who pretend to be high class may use overly complicated words and talk fast to try and confuse others, but in reality, they are simply overcompensating for their lack of knowledge or limited vocabulary. Pretenders often overcompensate by using overly formal language and mannerisms, such as mispronouncing phrases, brands, or cities. They may even raise their pinkies when drinking coffee or tea, thinking it makes them look posh, when in reality, it is an outdated gesture with sexual connotations. It's important to remember that being professional does not mean sacrificing authenticity, and trying too hard to fit into a certain identity can come across as insincere. 
People who pretend to be high class often jump on trends and play it off as history, such as claiming to be allergic to gluten despite eating pizza and bread their entire lives. They may exaggerate their own experiences for dramatic effect, hoping to fit in with a certain group. However, true high-class individuals value authenticity and honesty over trying to impress others with false information or experiences. There may be other behaviors or habits that scream, I'm pretending to be high-class, such as name-dropping or flaunting expensive items without truly appreciating their value. It's important to remember that true high class is not about wealth or status, but about character and integrity. There are various behaviors that individuals adopt to create an impression of affluence. While these behaviors may differ from one individual to another, they all stem from the desire to be recognized and respected by others. Some people may wear expensive clothes, drive luxury cars, or use particular social cues and body language to appear wealthy. However, it is essential to note that these behaviors are not a reliable indicator of someone's true financial status. It is possible to cultivate an image of affluence without necessarily having the financial means to support it. Therefore, it is crucial to be mindful of these behaviors and not to judge individuals based on their appearance alone. Ultimately, what matters most is one's character, integrity, and contributions to society, not their outward appearance of wealth. We'll see you back here again. Thank you for watching this video Change Grow if you found it valuable consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community.